Hello and welcome to Twin Sons Tutorials. My name is Kevin Woodbury and today I'm working in Adobe Photoshop CC. But what I'll show you is applicable in previous versions of Photoshop as well as in Elements for the most part. And the exercise I'm going to go through is to take a element within this photograph, um, in this case the bird, and copy it and paste it back in in a way that makes it look natural and makes it look like there are actually two birds in this photograph. Now some may say that's a, that's a contrived um, deviation on standard photography and shouldn't be done. I'm not going to get into the politics of whether or not you should use Photoshop to add elements and or to modify the picture, but since you're viewing this you have some interest at least in Photoshop. So I'm going to start first by creating a selection. Now this was covered in a previous tutorial uh, entitled something to the effect of quick selection tool. So if you haven't seen that you may want to see that first. But I had previously gone in and selected the bird and created that selection so that I can come in and load it instead of having to do it in front of you. So there's the selection of the bird and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste it back in and I'm going to go ahead and make it look natural. So first I want to point out that over on the right side in the layer palette um, there is a single layer right now called the background layer. And you'll notice as I do some of this that the system will automatically create new layers. In some cases I'll have to do it but in some cases the computer will. And this is going to be one of those cases where the computer does it. So I'm going to start by going up into the edit panel and I'm going to say copy. Now if you're using shortcuts you can also hold down the command C for copy or the control C on a PC and do the same thing a lot quicker. But since you folks can't see what I'm doing I'm going to use this uh, menu. So it's copy and now I'm going to also immediately go in and paste it. And again, it's Command V for paste or Control V on a PC for paste. Now, you're going to see one thing happen. There's a new layer. The system created that when I pasted it. But you don't see it here yet. And the first thing you've got to do is go up into the Move tool, which is on the Tool palette, the very top icon. And once I'm there, I can click on this bird, hold down the, uh, the, key, the um, mouse button, and then move that. Okay, and it doesn't matter right now where I'm moving it. I'm just going to move it. And notice that, for the most part, that's a pretty decent copy. And now what I want to do is resize this, because that bird is too big. It's, it would be unnatural to see it um, next to the other bird. And so I'm going to go up into the Edit menu and I'm going to go down to the Transform option and I'm going to say Scale. And you'll notice once I do, a box forms around the bird and it has these little grab bars located in each of the corners and centrally on each side. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard and you can't see that but it's important. Hold down that shift key and I'm going to click with my mouse button on this corner and hold down that mouse button and I'm going to go kind of diagonally up. And what I'm doing is resizing the bird because technically I'm going to put it behind the other bird and it would be out of scale if I, if I didn't rescale this. And for argument's sake, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it at this. Uh, you may want to do more work on this. It's up to you. But for the moment, I think uh, that's okay. Now, the other thing is, in order to avoid the appearance of having duplicated this bird, I'm going to actually turn it a little bit. And the way I can do that is, oh, and by the way, um, once I finish scaling it, I, I should remember that I have to go up to the top here and either click on this check mark which says, yep, that's what I want, or on this icon which is cancel it, I didn't do it right. So I'm going to click on the, yep, that's, that's what I wanted. So that's an important step I almost missed. 
Um, and now I want to go up into the edit menu and I'm going to go and transform again and this time I'm going to say rotate. Now I'm rotating it because I just want it to be a little bit of skew with the other bird so it, it doesn't look like I did a direct copy and, and paste. Uh, this way the bird is oriented a little bit differently. Um, so that's good and I go up and I hit the check mark which says yep that's what I wanted. Um, notice again the, the um, box around the bird disappears. Now one thing to keep in mind in both of those exercises is I was on this first layer which includes only the bird. And the way I can show you that is if I turn off this um, background layer, notice I only have the bird in the picture. And if there's any abnormalities at the moment, uh, like around this, this beak, I could clean that up if I wanted to. Again, this is an exercise, I'm not going to spend the time to do it, but but for the time being, um, I just wanted to show you that you could isolate that bird. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on the background layer so everything appears again. And the next step in this is move it to where I think I want it um, in relation to the bird beneath it. So I'm going to say probably about there, eh, give or take. I mean, this is an exercise. You can move it any place you want when, when you're doing it for real, but I'm going to say this is okay. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get rid of that portion of this bird that overlaps the bottom bird. And I'm going to do this a little sloppily. In real life, I would take a lot of time and, and try to do it very carefully. And the way I do that is I move over to my toolbar again, and I use the eraser. The eraser. Okay, and when I click on the eraser, I get this large circle. As in previous lessons, if I hit the left bracket key, you'll notice that it goes down in size. If I hit the right bracket key, it goes up in size. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it maybe about here. Now in this picture, there's no point in having the feet. You're not going to see them down in here um, because this bird just overlaps in such a way that I can't see it. So I'm going to get rid of those feet by erasing them. Now I'm, what I'm doing is erasing, again, it's important to be in layer one. Um, and I'm also going to erase this foot because you're never going to see it. It doesn't apply in this particular case. Now, if this were in reality two birds standing on this on this uh, brick surface, uh, or excuse me, this cement surface, you might see the legs. But for this exercise, I'm not going to worry about it. The next thing I'm going to do is try to follow the contour of this bottom bird in a way that I erase this portion of the other bird. And you'll see as I do it. So I'm going to start in the back for some reason. And I'm just going to kind of go along and I'm going to erase the bird. And I'm not going to necessarily go right up to the edge for the moment, but it's important that I erase as much of this bird as I can. And again, I'm going to come and I'm going to try to follow the contour at the back of the bottom bird. And that may or may not be perfect, but it's, I think, okay. Now notice as I do that, it kind of gives you the perspective that the bird is, the second bird is behind the first. And that's the effect that I want. Um, and for, I think, again, for this exercise, that's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for, for government work, as they say. And so I'm going to leave it at that. Now, one way to make sure I've cleaned up all the uh, erased portions of the second bird is I'm going to take the background layer and I'm going to turn it off by clicking on this little eyeball and just make sure that there's nothing showing like this little speck right down here. I'll get rid of that. And that's pretty good actually otherwise. So I'll turn this back on. Now that's all fine and good. It looks like this other bird is standing next to and behind the other bird. Uh, now the one thing I want to do is, is make this bird a little bit unique. If you look at these two birds, you can tell that they've been copied one from the other. So I'm going to actually go into the clone tool at this point. And again, I'm on layer one. And I'm going to clone some of the brown into the black areas, some of the black into the brown areas, just to give this bird a little bit of a different look so that it doesn't look like I've, I've directly cloned it. So 
the cloning tool, um, if, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know how to use this. But just quickly, if I hold down the Option key on a Mac or a Alt key on a PC, um, I'm going to say for this purpose, I'm going to copy from here. And I've gotten this, this crosshair by holding down that Option or Alt key. I'm just going to say, for argument's sake, I'm going to copy from here. So I just click on that and let both the Option or Alt key and the mouse button, I let them loose. And that kind of says, OK, this is where I want to copy from. Now I'm going to notice as I move this around, that area up here that I said I want to copy it from, it's within this cursor now. And I'm going to say I want to copy it to here. And all I have to do is click on my mouse button, hold it down, and draw as I go. And you'll see I've gotten rid of some of now the black so that it doesn't necessarily look like the same bird anymore. But you want to do a decent job of it. So you might have to come back and resample by holding down the Alt and Option key, clicking here again, letting both go. And just to kind of clean up this black area up here, um, I'm going to sample from here now. And I'm OK with that. I think that looks OK. Now I'm going to take some of this black right here. So I'm going to hold down the Option key or Alt key. Click here to say that's where I want to start my copy from. Let both of those go. Move up here. And uh, let's see. And draw again. Now that may not be the best job in the world, truthfully. But I, I think it's fine for now. And what I've, what I've tried to do in this exercise is kind of show you that you want to make the bird look a little unique so that it doesn't look like you just copied the bird beneath it. it that this could, I, in a real world, be a separate bird. Um, and again, I'm not doing the best job in the world, but, but I think it's okay for this exercise. So try to make the, the markings on the, the second bird different enough where somebody looking at it just briefly might say, okay, yeah, okay, there's a second bird in there. Now I did a lousy job of, of cloning here, so I'm going to hold down the uh, Option key and Command and hit Z on a Mac. And I'm going to do it twice because it, it just, I had two moves there. If it was on the PC, I'd hold down the Control Alt and Z and that would back up um, in the Mac and, or PC environment. So at this point, I've put the bird in. I've erased the areas that overlap. I've made the markings a little bit different, even though I didn't do a great job. And that kind of was the point of the exercise. So I hope this is something that you can use in your work. And um, again, for Kevin Woodbury at Twin Sons Tutorials, I hope this was helpful. I will see you next time. Take care.